What's up everybody, OT for Tech here, and today we're going to be taking a look at this, the Mime USA Feather Glass Temper Glass Screen Shield for the Nexus 5. First off, you can purchase a screen shield on the Mime USA website for $27.99. This is a temper glass screen shield, so it's not your flimsy, you know, normal static cling screen shield. This is actually made of glass. It has a 9H hardness, and it is only 0.15 millimeters thick, which means it's a very thin and very lightweight screen shield, and it provides optimal clarity giving you the exact clarity that you get without a screen shield on your phone and you know with this phone you want that considering this beautiful display that the nexus 5 has it doesn't add a lot of bulk to your phone as i said before the measurements are very thin and it does come with the oleophobic coating mime usa also stands by their product and has a lifetime warranty which they'll give you a 50 percent off coupon or 75 percent off coupon towards the purchase of a new one if you need a new one. Actually, I believe it's 50%, not 75, because I have gotten a replacement. Inside the box, you will find some Mime USA, like a instruction pan a pamphlet. Also, you will find a dust removal tool and a microfiber towel. Behind that, you'll find the actual tempered glass screen shield in a separate cardboard container. Now, unlike the iPhone screen shield that Mime USA makes of the feather glass or the ghost glass, there is not a replacement screen protector in here. So if you need a replacement, you do not have a backup in this case with the iPhones you do. Now, this screen shield, like I said before, is very thin and it does have a little bit of flexibility. You can bend it. And you usually cannot do that with your thicker glass screen shields because they will break. It also has access to your speaker at the top of the phone, as you can see with the cutout. Now, prior to the installation of the screen shield, you wanna make sure that your screen is completely free of dust, debris, fingerprints, grime, uh, smudges, smears, anything that is on the screen that could compromise the installation of the screen shield. Once the screen shield is clean, you're gonna to wanna to use the dust removal tool. Just take the sticker and place it on the screen like you would a screen shield. Pat it down nice and flat to remove any dust that you might have not have gotten off while cleaning the screen. Once it's patted down and you kind of get the bubbles out the best you can, just with your hands, nothing fancy, nothing, just as quick and easy, go ahead and peel off the sticker. I just like to get the screen shield lined up next to it because I want to make it as fast as possible to decrease the risk of getting any dust underneath the installation process or underneath the screen shield because with tempered glass screen shields usually you are a one and done type deal but in this particular installation I did get a little bit of dust under my screen shield and I had to pry it up with my fingertips and I'll show you that in the video as well. Make sure that the speakerphone at the top is lined up with the cutout on the screen shield and just place the screen shield down on the phone. You will see that it is also self-adhering, so basically once you stick it on the phone, you'll see it adhering itself, and it's almost like magic. And while it's doing that, you can also squeegee out any bubbles once it's done adhering itself. As you can see on the left side, I did get a little piece of dust, and I used my fingertips and the dust removal tool to pry up the screen shield, stick the dust removal tool under it, and get out the tiniest piece of dust that I had trapped underneath the screen shield. I actually had to do this process twice because I thought that the front facing camera was a piece of dust under the screen shield and come to find out it was just a front facing camera. So just don't pay that any attention in this video. And once it is on there and you squeegee out the bubbles, you are left with a wonderful screen shield. But as I said before, this is the part in the video where I thought that the front facing camera was a piece of dirt. And I just want, decided to keep that in this video to give you a better idea of how to remove it slowly. When you, if you do have a piece of dust that gets stuck under the screen shield and you need to do what I did in this case, you want to peel it up with just your fingernails, but don't touch the residue side of the screen shield. Just pry it up nice and easy otherwise you will damage the adhesive side of the screen shield and you do not want that because of course they do offer replacements for that but you don't want to have to wait on a brand new screen shield that you just spent $30 for. I do believe it is also free shipping. I'll go ahead and throw that in there. It is free shipping when you have when you place an order with the mimeusa.com website. 
And once you peel off the back, you're left with a few micro bubbles underneath the screen shield. Just take the microfiber towel. You can use your fingers to get them out the best you can. The ones that you cannot get out, you can use a credit card. I always take the credit card and I wrap it in the microfiber towel to decrease the risk of scratching the brand new screen shield. And you don't necessarily want to damage it the first day that you have it. That's the it's just a safety precaution that I choose to do as you can see here in the video. But you shouldn't have many micro bubbles because the self-adhering properties of the screen shield should basically get out the larger ones. If there's any left it's either from like I did I had to peel it off. That's basically the reason why I have the bubbles under the screen shield because I removed it with my fingertips twice. But once they're out, they are out for good, and you're left with a wonderful light, the, like your base screen on your phone screen shield. Your fingers will glide on it like butter, and I'm just going to power up the phone here. Now that the phone is powered on, you can see that the clarity of this screen shield is wonderful. You can't even tell that the screen shield is on the phone. It does have a little bit of gloss and glare to give you the actual screen effect. Touch screen sensitivity is not reduced whatsoever. As you can see, and my finger just glides on the screen like butter. It does have the oleophobic coating to help resist against fingerprints. I mean, it doesn't prevent them completely, but what it does is it gives you the ability to clean them a lot easier than, say, a screen shield that doesn't have an oleophobic coating. Overall, my use with this screen shield has been absolutely fantastic. There is not a lot of makers that make screen shields for the Nexus 5. I know, I believe Spigen makes one, but overall, this is my favorite. Um, not to judge any of the other companies because I'm sure they're just as good, but I like it because as you can see here, the thinness of the screen shield. This is the thinnest screen shield that I know to date with the 9H hardness and the tempered glass uh, properties of the screen shield. I don't know too many that offer all of this in one package and still maintain the thinness that this screen protector maintains. So go to the website guys, check it out, get one for yourself, drop me a comment and let me know what you think. You know, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. You know, every little bit helps. And I will be doing a giveaway starting tomorrow all the way till Friday of a 50% off coupon to the bodyguards.com website. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel to be entered. Thanks, everybody.